Oh, can I not go through this way? Cool. Very cool. Um, great. Well then. That answers that question. Unless I can somehow... No. I can't parkour up. Well. You just have to be for 60. This way. No. Oh god. This is still ongoing, isn't it? Yeah. Down there, I must have gotten everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing. So stupid, I should have just used this. Exactly, was I looking for then? Okay, nothing here. I'm definitely trying to bait them out. That is deliberate. Okay, approach slowly. Oh, okay. Rockets? Uh, how many rocks have got? Ooh. Now that's a lot of rockets. Sixty three three eighty five. Yep. A video disc for me. Oh, okay. Demon Museum that's marked. Welcome to the Delta Complex Stasis Chambers. This facility was constructed to house and study the extra-dimensional beings, which were recovered during some of the first the demons from hell originating from Delta Level 3. While little is known about their native environment, the specimens appear to be carbon-based life forms with extremely high heat tolerances. 
The epidermal tissue is extremely resilient to abrasion or incision, which has complicated internal studies. Observational studies have shown incredible strength and agility, as well as the ability for some specimens to manifest and control cohesive plasma masses. The method by which these plasma masses are created is yet unknown. It is believed that the specimens possess a rudimentary intelligence and social structure, as was demonstrated during the first tragic expeditions through the portal. While the cost in human life has been great in acquiring <laughs> these specimens, we hope to one day complete genomic mapping and begin to answer the many questions we have about these entities. No. Drugs? No. Will it go bang? Why did that fall? Okay. It's not gonna blow up. It's not gonna blow up. Alright. Have your way. Uh okay, so Okay, this is gonna be great, isn't it? Let me have the armor. Dirty game. Just let me have things. What you see before you is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul U. It was discovered in 2104, located in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization other than they existed and that they were all wiped out in some type of cataclysmic event according to what we've been able to decode oh, the stone it? tablets found throughout the ruins the drama. what clues we have been able to piece together reveal a culturally advanced society whose technology can only be described as mystic as evidenced by u one strange characteristic efforts to further examine u one have been futile mass spectrometer and radiation scanning methods have failed to provide reliable identification the molecular makeup of this artifact. The object cannot be weighed, and in all tests, we've been unable to determine its mass. All attempts to physically manipulate or open the artifact have been met with no success. We also have had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning the one. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant, unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues. And we hope that with continued investment and research, we can, one day soon, learn to exploit the technology that make up U1. U1. Hmm. It's kind of mystical and shit. videos. I think that was just the video that we watched. I can... Yeah, Soul Cube. Yeah, it's the one we watched. What uh. you see before you is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul Cube. It was discovered in 2104, cool. located in a geographic region where UAC researchers have unearthed evidence of a long-lost civilization. We know nothing of this civilization. <laughs> we know nothing. Uh, okay. Uh, this is the audio log of research director Larry Bullman, October 19th, 2145. I've been examining the glyphs on the cube-shaped artifact, which some are calling the Soul Cube, and combined with previous research data, it is my conclusion the device is some sort of weapon. Uh, if the power fluctuations would stop long enough for me to get the linguistic CPU online, then I am sure my theory would be verified. 
you know, I'll take this opportunity to lodge yet another complaint about the continual power problems. Living in this godforsaken base is bad enough without having to watch the lights flicker constantly. It's just... Well, never mind. Back to the task at hand. What I've deciphered so far is a bit, I must say, disturbing. It seems that when one has possession of the artifact, if one inflicts damage or possibly kills another being, it extracts power from that event somehow. Now, once a certain threshold has been reached, the artifact has the ability to kill anything you attack with it. How you attack with it, I'm frankly not certain, indicating that the artifact is autonomous in some way. To date, I have only deciphered about, mm, two-thirds, give or take, of the markings, but my initial glance at the rest of them indicates it harbors some far greater power. As you know, at this time, we have not seen any reaction from the cube, and it has withstood any scanning, abrasion, or other test beyond picking it up and examining it. I suspect that just like the civilization that constructed it, its capabilities are diminished to the point of being useful only as a paper. Oh, cube. So cube. What you see before you is a relic codenamed U1, or simply Soul Cube. It was discovered in Soul Cube. I have the Soul Cube in hell, and you will never find it. Well, maybe I will. Maybe I will find it. Oh no game. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Alright. Ow! Ow! Oh! Oh! I'll take it. I will take it. Thank you. Cannot be weighed, and in all tests, we've been unable to determine its mass. All it has to do. Okay. Um, we um, also um, have um. had no success in deciphering the symbols adorning you one. What we do know is that the thermographic readings are constant, unwavering temperature of 98.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Our research continues, and we hope that with continued investment and research. We can, one day soon, learn to exploit the technology that make up the new one. Alright. I have the soul cube in hell! Like, oh, alright. Okay, buddy. Okay. I'm sorry. No. Not you. Roderick Hugh. Yep. Unearthed evidence of your mother. Having sex with various men. Uh, no, I didn't get it. Get it down. Did the other one drop down there? Maybe. Maybe the other one wasn't a, a chain gun. Okay. Fuck off! Dirty game. Dirty game. Dirty game. I want to get the last ten, but we'll hold on. 
Hold up. Dirty game mode. Extremely dirty. Do not approve. Science. Science. Yep. All right, cool. Let me just open up the PDA. PDA. He's probably in on it. Storage of these. Um, hmm. There you go. Oh, more. Please get through here. Ah, seven. Yeah. Hee <laughs> hee. Mm. Fine. Free stuff. Martian buddy. Interesting. Oh. Mine, my mind. Neither yet. Doesn't look like I can get any more shoddy shells. It's a lot. One tap of that. What? I could try 463. Mm, no. The Martian locker one would be all the way down here. I'll have to check if the. Emails. Mr. Moses, right, right. Right. I don't I don't know. I don't think it's down there, just a hunch I have. Francis. Corbin. Corbin, 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 no. Hmm. Person. Oh. 